don't see me in action. You can see the come up, come to win now. You ain't behind the scenes, trust me, these things don't just happen. No shade at Gerald, but she's still confusing when you're trying to eat our producer to rap it. I read that contract you sent me to sign, but excuse me, I can't help myself, I'm just laughing. Hey, you trying to cut out a piece of my pie, and I ask you politely, what's it that you are? Yeah. I produce all my own beats, and I have no intention to lose my publisher, yeah. Independent. How are we doing? Couple of seconds, guys. How are we doing, guys? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Saturday, how are we feeling? I want to say thank you, Vibe, for the space. My name is Horace Jones, the game changer. Today, workout is we're going to be using a kettlebell as well as some dumbbells, okay? So, if you got dumbbells, get your dumbbells. If you've got no dumbbells, get something that you can have in your hand as a resistance. So, anything you have at all that can be used as a resistance, okay? So, I'm going to be using kettlebells. Use a um, 2.5. And then I've got my, sorry, this dumbbells. I've got my kettlebell here next. So this is what I'm going to be using. So I'll be doing one exercise with uh, the dumbbells and I'll be doing one exercise with the kettlebell. So if you've got either or either, you can get a workout, okay? So many exercises, I've, uh, I can't really do the same way I do with the, with the uh, dumbbells, but I still try and implement it with the kettlebell, okay? So... You might be asking, what's the best thing to buy? Kettlebell, dumbbell, I don't know, it's up to you. I'm just gonna try and show you some exercises to do with these things, if you have them in your house and you're thinking, what can I do with these things, okay? So, we're gonna start off with quick, little, simple warm-up, and then we're gonna go kick straight into it, okay? So, I've got my thing on the floor, my kettlebell, and all I'm gonna do is toe taps. So I'm gonna start off like this, nice and easy. All I'm trying to do is get the body awake, wake the body up, so ready? Let's go, toe taps. Good. 20 seconds with these. Warming up the body, warming up the legs, warming up the shoulders. Again. 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good, now I'm gonna touch down. Again, touch down. Again, touch down. Touch down, try and keep my body upright, okay? Using them legs, sit down, good. Now I'm gonna bring them in, bring them out. Let's go, let's go, 20 seconds. Push these through. So again today I'm gonna to try and work the whole body with my dumbbells and my kettlebells. So I'm gonna show you a number of exercises that's gonna get you strong and fit, okay? Good, let's go down to our star jumps. Warm this body up. 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, good, shake them off, grab one to the back, we're going to do some squats today, so shake them legs off, stretch them off, return, change, are we feeling good guys, um, it's almost nearly the end of the week, Time for us to put that work in. Hold it up. Good, let's go change opposite. Good, shoulders, nice big. Good, opposite way. Good, let's open and close. So I'm gonna start off always with my dumbbells. And then I'm gonna show you, I'll try and simulate the same exercise with my kettlebell, okay? So let me put my kettlebell to one side, got my dumbbells. So I'm gonna start off with my legs and my shoulders. I'm all about trying to hit different parts of the body at once. You know, like I said, we haven't got a lot of time. So we're showing you how to hit two, three body parts in one motion, okay? So the first motion I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my legs, shoulders apart, and I'm gonna start off with my shoulders. Get my shoulders up there. Good, that's how I'm gonna start off. And then I'm going to change from my shoulders to my legs. So it's that motion there. Okay? That motion. I'm doing a squat. And I'm doing my shoulders at the same time. So we got it. You ready? Three. And again, guys, the lighter the weight is, try and do more reps. You don't want to get it too heavy because you want to try and get the concept of burning 
as well as building, okay? Stamina, as well as endurance. So ready? Let's go, come on. One, two, good. Three, and again, if you haven't got no dumbbells, get yourself two cans, okay? Anything where you can hold in your hand, where it's a resistance, just to get a little bit more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, good. 4, 3, 2, side view, good. Get that bum down, tuck them in, squeeze, good. So that's the exercise there with my uh, dumbbells. Same, I've got a heavy kettlebell there. Yeah? But you know what, I'm going to show you how to do it with my medium one, okay? So this is a 5k, so 8k, that's a 25. So again, I'm going to grab both hands, bums out, heads up, swing, up, there. Same motion, okay? I'm doing more on my legs, but the swing as well as doing my back, a little bit on my shoulders, okay? So again, I'm hitting, those are body parts at once, good. Bam, pull out, squeeze them legs, squeeze them glutes, squeeze them, when you come up, bam, tighten, again, tighten, no, let's go, 10, 9, good, 8, 7, 6, good, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, well done, 10 seconds, so now, I'm going to go for my shoulders, and again, I'm going to hit my legs again. But now I'm going to go with up here, and I'm going to step back, do a lunge, come up, push. Again, step back, lunge, come up. And it's important, guys, that when I come back, I keep that distance between my legs. I don't want to be too close, because I'm going to be off balance. I'm going to keep my feet the same distance. So again, step back, come up, push. Again, step back, come up, push. Now if you wait to, you can hold them up, hold them up, step back, come up, hold back, come up, hold back, come up, hold back, come up, okay? I'm gonna do the easy option because they're burning already. <laughs> I've only done about six and they're burning, so, ready? I'm gonna keep them up here and we're gonna alternate. Three, two, one, let's go for our lunge. Back up, push again. Lunge, come back, push. See how my legs are the same distance all the time? And I'm trying to touch my knee on the floor, gently. Keep that good position. Again, lunge, push up. Lunge, push up. Lunge, push up. Shoulders now are starting to burn because of that position that I'm in. I'm holding them off my shoulders. They're burning. We five more, four, Good, three, two, one. Good, wow. I say guys, you don't need a lot of weight. What you gotta do is up your reps, technique, okay? So now, so with this now, I'm gonna go with a swing. Swing it up, and I'm gonna step back. Again, change, swing it up, step back. As you can see, I'm using the opposite hand to my opposite leg. It's all about balance, okay? I can use the same leg with the same hand, but I know my balance, I'm gonna be all over the place, okay? So, let's pick up, swing up, from there, step back, down, change, swing up, step back, come back up, again, swing, change, swing up, good. Or you could just do five in each, or six in each, but I'm gonna alternate. Because that way for me, it's better for me when I alternate. I don't forget how many numbers that I've done on each hand and leg. But I'm alternating every single time. So again, let that swing down, there, legs, back up, power them up, using them legs, get them legs powerful, swing, change, up, again, good. Again, legs. Power them up, glutes, calves, my back, eh? shoulders, the amount of body parts I'm working on this one exercise, it's unbelievable. Again, good, one more on the opposite side now. 
Again. There we go. Good. A little 10 seconds breather. Woo. And again, guys, it's up to you how many you're doing. Keep it, uh, what you do on the left, you do on the right. Keep it even. And like I said, it's best to have a little weight that you can do more and get a big heavy weight like this. And after two, three sets, you're tired, okay? So again, guys, get yourself a quick drink. Ready again? So this time, I'm gonna come round this position here, and I'm gonna push up. So I'm gonna come round, and I'm gonna push up. I'm gonna come round, and I'm gonna push up. So it's very important to come round with my hands in that position there, to come round, turn, push up, back, turn, again, push up, turn, back, push up, okay? And again, guys, I'm gonna use my legs again, because I want to build up my legs as much as I build up my top half because it's my legs that's carrying me every single day and I just like my legs feeling nice and ready, okay? So, I'm going to do these with uh, sumo squats, a little bit wider than normal squats, okay? I'm going to turn my feet outwards, okay? What I'm going to do, I'm going to sit down in them, from there, push up, sit down in them, push up, sit down in them, stop, there you go, sit down in that sumo squat, squeeze when I come up. Again, squeeze my shoulders together, my shoulder blades, squeeze my glutes, squeeze my calves, squeeze my thighs. Again, keep sure my back is straight, I'm not leaning forward. Push them out. There we go, push them out. Push them out. Again, push them out. Let's go. Ten more. Nine. Eight. Good. Seven. Six. Good. Five. Four. Again, three. Two. There's my one. So again, I'm working all the top here on my legs, my calves, everything there is getting worked. I'm working my back area here, shoulder blades, okay? All getting worked. Now there's two ways I can do this with my kettlebell. There's one from the floor, where I squat down, get up here, do my squat, then push up. Again, from the floor, Change, bring it up, push up, okay? So again, remember, we're gonna do this with sumo squats. So open your legs, turn your feet outwards, a bit like um, Charlie Chaplin, okay? Same concept. So we're in that position there. It already feels horrible, yeah? It feels awkward. So again, squat down, come up, so up, push, again. Down, change, up, push, again. Squat, looking up. Keep my spine straight. Again, change. Good, I'm not even looking down. I want to be able to find it without looking for it. Again, down, bring up, close to the body. Push up, again, close to the body. Push up, again, down, change, close. Push up, let's go. Throw these out, I like these. These feel good. Again, there we go. Down, up. Again, down, up, and there's a different style you could do. So the style could be from here. So the style could be, yeah. Again, I'm hitting loads of body parts. Still keeping it on. Doing them sumo squats. My legs are getting work. My back, my shoulders. Yeah. Change over, opposite side. Again, down, push up, push up. Keep that hand close to the ears. It's possible, squeeze, give me five more, four, three, again, two, there's my one, well done, well done, well done, well done, my legs are feeling pumped already, okay, and you can see the weight's not a lot, I'm not using a lot of weight, it's the exercise that I'm doing, doing it correctly, taking my time, and I'm adding reps to it all the time, okay, so again, these are pretty light, but I'm going to do my biceps and my triceps at the same time. So I'm going to get in this position here, I'm going to push my bum out, get my back, my belly to come out, so in that position there, tuck my hands in, curl them up, up, turn the weights, push them back, curl them up, push them up, down, turn them round, push them back. Let's go. Again, like I said guys, keep the weight at a good rep, sorry, keep the weight at a good, good weight. 
That way you can just flow these out. Come on. Throw out like sets of 30s. Come on, let's go. Bam, 30s. Let's go. Turn them. Throw them back. When you're throwing them back, you're tensing the back of the arm. Squeeze. Again, squeeze, squeeze coming up. Squeeze going back. Squeeze coming up. Every time it's a squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. Bam, let's go. Flick them out. Squeeze them in. Let's go. 10 now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Wow, good. Kettlebell. I'm gonna roll it all it upside down. I'm gonna grab the round bit like this. And again, my legs shoulder for part, slightly bent, keeps the pressure off my spine. And I'm going straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up. Okay. So now I'm working more on my biceps rather than my triceps. Because the movement I'm using, again, again guys, you want to throw like the sets of 30s out, it's a good weight, keep them close to the, the ribs, the side, yeah, don't want to see no gap in between, lock them out, tuck them in, lock them out, tuck them in, let's go, 10, come on, 9, 8, 7, 6, good, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, good, what we could do, could hold it up now, so I'm gonna bend down just so you can see me. So, same position, hold behind my head, flick out, flick out, tuck the elbows in, flick out, and I'm doing my triceps with the same kettlebell, tuck the elbows in, flick them out, let's go. 10 now, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, there's my one. Well done. Wow, get yourself a drink, guys. Get yourself a drink. Good. Think about the next exercise we're gonna do. So we're gonna try and do our, our lower back, okay? And do our lower back. So we're gonna have, no, we're gonna do our lower back as well as these big babies there. These are massive muscles that a lot of us don't know how to work, okay? So we're gonna kinda, I mean, it's not too much of a bit, but slightly like, like you sit down comfortable. But all you're going to do is you're going to lean back forward, stick your bum out, come back up. Again, lean, come back, lean, keep my hands straight. Again, back of my legs are feeling it already. Shoulder blades. Again, come up, down, good. Squeeze that, that chest out, again down, chest out, again down. Good, chest out, five more, four, three, good, this is two, this is one, good. So the same exercise we're going to do, this time I'm going to use my big kettlebell, feeling brave. Yeah, I've got my big, my 25k kettlebell, it's not to be messed up, I'm telling you. <laughs> so again, same position, start off with. Posture, bum out, stand up first, get my feet right, step bum out a little bit, legs, I'll say keep them straight out the back, again up, down, up, again, up, so again the back of my legs, yeah, my lower back, good, again slightly little bend on the knees, not too much, Alright, come up. Five more. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more. Good. Next, what we're going to do is a call around the world. Okay. So we're going to have the weights. We're going to go round, round. Round, round. So all I'm working on now, guys, all on my top half, okay? My chest, back, my traps. I'm trying to work on all the body parts. So we're going to keep them like this. We're going to go round, round, back to the starting position. Round, let's go. Get them weights together. All them tins of beans, or whatever you got to use. Let's go around the world. Ten more. 
We're going to change direction opposite way. Again, remember guys, slightly bend on the knees. Get the pressure off the spine, change opposite way. Good, again, round, then round, 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 good. Round, round, five more, four, three, two, one. So I'm telling you, all here, all around, back here, exercise has worked, okay? So I'm, I'm now thinking, should I grab the 25, but I'm gonna leave the 25 over there. I'm gonna grab the eight. So again, I got the eight upside down. Again, I go round, back round, again. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, change opposite way. Good, get it round, round, good, round. There we go, round. Round five more, four, three, two, one. Good. Next, I'm going to do, I'm going to do punching out. Okay, punching out. Now, my 2.5s, for me, they're heavy. So I'm going to go to my other size. So I've got these, these 2K, okay? These 2K for me. Nice. So we're going to get into a stance. Remember, we don't want to be on that, that walking line. We're feeling off balance. Open your legs more. That way I feel secured. Hands up here. What we're going to do is punch them out. Punch them out. See, I'm turning my body. Turning my body. Now we're going to try and do this. Let me just uh, stop my washing machine. We're going to try and do this. Sorry about that. We're going to try and do this for, I would say, I don't know, about a minute. Okay? So get in position. I want them up here, I don't want them down here. I want them straight out in front. Not over there, not over there. Straight out, so you ready? Position slightly bent on the knees. Yeah, take the pressure off the knees. So that position there, what I mean? Let's go. Twist that body, throw them out, bring them back in. Let's go, let's work through this. Come on. Good. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. It's burning, it's burning. Let's go. So now I'm working from my legs downwards, upwards, sorry. My glutes, I'm twisting. My sides twisting, shoulders, my back. Everything's getting worked. My speed, okay. Let's go. 10 seconds left, nine, eight, seven, six. Burning, five, four, three, two, one, ah. They're burning. They were burning. They were burning from, from when I started, they were burning. Right. Now I've got my kettlebell. It's gonna be more of a, more of a, that's what we're going for. Again, look at the feet on the floor. Twist, again, twist, again, twist. So we got it. I'm going to hold my kettlebell like this, over my hand, underneath my chin, and I'm going out, back in, bam, back in, again, back in, again, back in, back in, even this is heavy, again, five more, four more, three more, two, there's my one, wow, change my feet, I want the, the leg that I'm punching with to be at the back, that's my brace, hold it up, twist in, push out, twist, again, twist, 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 go, come on, twist, five more, four more, three, two, there's my one, well done. And now we're going to go on there, we're going to do some sit-ups, or should we do some jumping squats? Matter of fact, we're gonna do some jumping squats. Yeah? So we're gonna do some jumping squats. So, we're gonna have the weight here. That's the position of the weight underneath my chin. Controlling it, okay? I'm gonna get into my squat position. And when I'm jumping up, guys, I want my toes to point down, okay? So that way I'm working my calves as well, okay? 
So make sure when you're jumping, your toes like a ballerina, okay? So get into position. I'm going now squat, my elbows are touching my knees, come up. There you go. That's it there, elbows. Good. Let's go. Again, I want 10 of these. Toes pointing down. Good. Let's go. Five, four, three, two. Wow. I'm telling you guys, listen, you don't need heavy weights. All you need to do is up your rep, get exercise technique properly, and you're burning calories, you're building. Okay? Don't need no big weights. So again, now if I wanted mass, if I wanted to be like a, a bodybuilder, like I wanted to be big, then I would go for the big baby over here. But I don't want to be big. I want fitness, I want endurance, I want to be able to keep going. I don't want to concentrate on my heart, okay? So my weight's light, but my reps is hitting 10s, 20s, 15s, 20s, okay? I mean 30s. So again, same position. I'm holding them upside down. That position there, close that down here. That position, I'm gonna tuck them in. So I'm already working my shoulders already, okay? So that position, get to my stance. Get my squat down. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, come on, six. Seven, two, eight. come on, tense them legs, squeeze them legs on the way up, squeeze them. Again, five, four, three, two, one. Wow. Good. Now we're gonna throw some sit-ups in there because we're nearly coming to the end. So we're gonna throw some sit-ups in just to uh, finish this off. So uh, I'm thinking of one sit-up that we could just kill it off. So. Yeah, we're gonna do a. We're gonna put your hands here or underneath your bone, whichever you feel comfortable. And we're gonna kick them out, back in, kick them up. Kick them out, kick them in, kick them up. Kick them out, kick them in. So, you ready? Let's throw them out. There's one. There's two. Three, come on. There's four. Five. Six. Seven, come on. There's eight. Nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's my twenty. Well done, guys. Well done, well done. Don't forget to share. Pass it on. Show it to a friend. And again, guys, I'm not too sure whether you buy a kettlebell or a dumbbell. You choose which is the best one for you. There was about, I don't know, seven, eight exercises there that you could learn and try out whether you've got a kettlebell or a dumbbell. Let me just turn this down a sec. So, yeah, so we've come to the end. Once again, I want to say thank you to Vibe for giving me this space to get you people off your settees, out your beds and start the day the best way you can, which is for me, there's no better way to start the, the day than to wake the body up, than the body and the mind ready to hit the day. So, first of all is, big love to every single person out there, okay? Love, okay? Let's stop showing that hate, show that love. So, quick little shake off, we're running out of time, but it's important to stretch off, so, let's go to the toes, grab them toes, hold it down, five, Four, three, two, one, guys. When you finish your little stretching off with me, do your more, do some more with yourself. Bring the legs in, tuck them up, push them down. Again, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, guys, wanna have a quick little talk. We're gonna have one in, one out. The concept of um, trying to be better than you are yesterday, trying to improve yourself every single day in whatever aspect it is, uh, whatever bad habits you have, try and retrain your mind to exchange a bad habit for a good one. So, on that change, we're going to come up against complications that's going to make us question why are we doing this? Like, why should I change? Um, you know, I'm living a pretty good life, everything around me is fine, I'm, I'm happy. You know, well, if that's the situation, then maybe change is not needed. But for some of us out here, well, we, we're struggling with bad habits, we're struggling with, we're not living our best lives. Um, I want to introduce three concepts that I use every day 
It's a visualize, meaning see it before it happens. Belief, having the belief that you can have it. Let's extend wide. And the time, time frame, okay? So the three aspects, visualize, belief, and time, time frame. So what does this mean? It means like, um, as a kid, we used to visualize things that we want. We used to visualize ourselves being certain things. We used to visualize ourselves going to certain places, having certain clothes on, being with certain friends and whatnot. And then as an adult, let's go to the left, we seem to have lost it. So if we can retrain our brain again to visualize ourselves living that life that we want to live or having that job that we want to have and then understanding having the belief to do the training um, read the books find somebody else that's doing it better than you and um, get the information that you need and that's the concept of belief just like the same how where you know whether a person follows our religion they have the power to believe in something that they've never seen but the power is so great that they don't need to see it because the belief is so strong. Then we have the time frame, lands in front. Now, as we know, everything in life, whether it's the seasons, whether it's the time, the clock ticking, whether it's you being from 10 to 20, it all takes time, okay? Uh, I don't think they've found a, a magic button yet that we can get it like that. I don't think so. Um, but for my experience, everything that I've, I've probably got like this is not end up worth having. So... Understanding guys, one leg to the side, one leg to the front. Uh, time, okay, give, give yourself time. How long? I don't know. It's with anything else. The more time you put into it, the more quicker it's going to come. The less time you put into it, the longer it's going to come. So again, devote yourself to whatever that task is uh, and go for it. And just understand that, yeah, you can have it. You know, you've got the vision, you've got the belief and you, and you know within time it can happen. Uh, there's a few things along the way that can probably help speed it up, change. The friends, your circle of people that you're with, you know, uh, introducing, getting to know new people. And again, you know, be not being um, the confidence to meet new people, take on new tasks, take on new responsibilities. And these are the things that's going to bring whatever dream that you want. It's going to bring it to, towards you a lot faster. So let's back through. Let's go for our little twist, 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 twist. Let's interlock our arms, push out. Whoo, body straight. Good, let's go down to the toes. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go across, pull in. That's it, pull him in. Five, four, three, two, one. Change opposite. Again, pull him in. Five, four, three, two. Change, let's go. Last one now, behind, pull down. Like I said, guys, let's get that formula down. I remember, um, since I've been doing this, I've been telling everybody about the lists. You know, before you go to your bed, write down some things that you want to achieve for the following day. Um, it's like anything else. I mean, I, I'm the same. You know, I start good. By the end of the month, I start fading off again. But I keep reminding myself to get back on it again. So it's one of them. So, you know, you might stop. But don't be ashamed to think, okay, I've stopped now. It's time to get back on it again. So again, guys, have a wonderful day. Remember, spread love. Remember, always smiling. The smile that you have sometimes can infect somebody, make them feel happy they could be going through. We don't know what they're going through, guys. So again, remember to leave your house with a smile. Yeah, it's Horace Jones, the game changer. How do it pays off? Again, Vibe, thank you very much for the space. Any training, guys, any mentoring, any fitness, inbox me. You can catch me on Vibe, you can catch me on Facebook, uh, you can catch me on Instagram. So again, guys, have a wonderful day. Take care. Peace.